Greetings, 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 royal family. I am back. Welcome back. Happy Tuesday, everybody. It is February 25th. Black History Month is almost over. Can you believe it? Welcome to another episode of The Morning Boogie with me, Royal B. Hope you guys are having a fantastic morning thus far. Let's see, let's see. As you guys are rolling in, make sure you show some love to the like button. Drop a comment letting me know that you are here alive and well. Greetings, Miss Anjanette. Greetings. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Can you guys, can you hear me clearly? It is a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Greetings, greetings. Greetings, don't try me. One Don Diva, greetings. Okay, you can hear me clearly? Good, good. All right, so I didn't have any technical difficulties today. I'm figuring this thing out, so I'm back. Got a couple of things to get into today. How's everybody's morning going so far? Perfect, yes. All right, I'm sounding good. I'm just going to wait for the other participants to roll on in. If you're watching the replay, thanks for clicking on the video. Did you guys watch Love and Hip Hop last night? I didn't get to watch it. I'm going to have to watch it today. I heard it was good, though. I heard Miami was good. <clears throat> okay, my chat is working. Looks like everything is rolling. Okay. You did? Okay, don't 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 spoil it for me. I didn't get to watch it last night. I normally watch it at night and then record the reviews at night so that it'll be up and ready for the morning, but I took it down early last night. Blessed good morning, Roshona G. Welcome to the chat. Glad you're here. Welcome. How how far are we? Alright, we almost we're approaching four minutes. Alright. Miami was pretty good. Yeah, I heard. I saw people tweeting about it. Yes, please. I want to be pleasantly surprised. I heard it was funny though, so hopefully I'll be I'll be pleasantly surprised. All right. Remember when I was talking about um uh the Saved by the Bell reunion, and some of you were saying we were talking about Screech. Well, he must have heard you calling his name because. He wants to be a part of the uh, reboot. Let me see if I can find the article. Yeah, he wants to. Um, he posted a video on on some social media on one of his social media sites, saying that he wants to be a part of the reboot. So he's just basically saying like, if Screech is not there, then it's not really a a, a reunion at all, right? So he's basically pleading his case, um, saying that. Screech, the character Screech, is synonymous with the show. Like, you can't have the show without Screech. Now, I say, excuse me, I say you can't have the show without Lisa Turtle. But, you know, it is what it is. Now, still, the uh, Zach, Mark Paul Gosler, and, um, what's his name? Slater, Mario Lopez, neither one of them are saying anything. They're not saying anything. They're not giving any statements. And it seems like 
the reboot is in progress. It's ready to go. But people are not feeling the fact that Screech is not coming back. Uh, there's no word from Tiffany Amber Thiessen, who is Kelly Kapowski. She hasn't confirmed nor denied or given any statements if she's going to be joining as well. But Screech says that um, he hopes that his former castmates will include him. So let me see what this article is saying. Yeah, he did a video, but I'm, I'm not playing the video. So he says that he feels that he is the major reason why this reboot is happening. He feels that it's because of his character. <laughs> this guy. He feels that because of his character, you know, it's the reason why this, this reboot is taking place. So um, Jesse Spano, Slater, and Zach, they're confirmed. They're, they're on for the for the reboot, but no one else. So... Let's see. Now, as far as I think some of you were talking about his uh, his criminal activities, right? I knew that he was a jerk when he was on um, The Biggest Loser or whatever reality show it was on VH1 back in the day. But he, yeah, he he's he's had criminal cases. <laughs> he's made headlines several years for his criminal cases and some other unpleasant reasons. So that could be why they're not asking him to to come back because he could be a huge liability, you know, maybe for insurance purposes, like they don't want to be bothered with him. But yeah, he's a he's a trip. Um, he feels that everyone involved in the Saved by the Bell reboot, uh, the OGs basically should show some solidarity and demand that everyone, you know, be be included. So otherwise, he says, if you know, if they're not included like him and, and everyone else, then something is definitely going to be missing from the uh, from the show. And he even had a suggestion on what Screech's storyline should be. He didn't say what, but um, yeah, he did a video. But yeah, I didn't know that he had criminal cases and stuff like that. But I don't know. But he could be a liability, though. I think that's probably why they not they're not going to ask him back. He doesn't have a, a great reputation um, in Hollywood. So, and then I thought about um, Lisa Turtle, Lark Voorhees. She could be a liability as well because she has a mental condition. But I, I don't know. I think Screech is a bigger liability than than Lisa, right? So, it seems like this re reboot is going to be a hot mess. Like I'm not tuning in anyway because Lisa is not going to be a part of the cast. You know, you guys didn't even get Kelly Kapowski, so it's like we don't want to hear about just. Zach being a governor and closing down schools and integrating schools. Yeah, I'm I'm good off that. But Screechy, like I said, he had a lot to say and he feels that he should be a part of the cast. I thought that that was funny because we were talking about it in the chat and uh, we were mentioning, you know, Screech and he, he had a statement. So for those of you who are just joining, greetings, welcome, welcome. Let's see. Lisa either... He's off. To, oh, he was on. I didn't even know he was on. Yeah, well, I, I'm not surprised if he was. If he was on any mood enhancers, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. But he's crazy. He's real pompous and cocky. So it's like mm, he doesn't seem like he would be a pleasure to work with. <sighs> I can't believe it's Tuesday already. It's the 25th. This month is almost over. Man. That's crazy. Mm, mm, mm. All right, let me see what I got up next. Let me refer to my notes. Um, the uh, Kobe Bryant's tribute at the Staples Center. Did you guys see that? Anybody watched it? I watched some of it. I didn't watch the whole thing. It was very, very emotional. Very emotional. And did you guys get a chance to see Miss Beyonce Knowles Carter perform? That was extremely emotional as well. Michael Jordan gave a, a speech and he was bawling like he couldn't even. His tears were just streaming down his face. It was um, Vanessa Bryant. She gave a little, you know, a little one, two, one, two on the mic. It was just a lot. I didn't watch it the whole thing, but it was. Ugh. Very, very emotional. But it's good that they did a uh, tribute. Yeah, it was it was heavy, Anjanette. It was real, real heavy. And then when Beyonce started singing, oh, my God. 
So Beyonce, she opened up the uh, the it was a public memorial service at the Staples Center uh, for Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gianna, and she performed. Oh, she performed XO, and I was wondering why is she performing XO, but that was one of Kobe Bryant's favorite songs. So I thought, oh my goodness, how emotional. And she gave a statement, or she gave a little speech. She says, I'm here because I love Kobe. This is what she told the crowd. And this was one of his favorite songs. So I want to start with start that one over. She says, but I want us to do it all together. She was talking to the crowd. She wanted the crowd to sing along with her. Oh, she said, sing so loud that he hears the love. And then after she performed XO, then she performed Halo. Oh, my gosh. That... That just gave me like goosebumps. It just made me tear up. It was a lot. It was a lot. But she sang her face off though. She definitely, definitely sang her face off. So, and she blew a kiss to the sky like when she was done. She looked great. And one thing that I did notice is, honey, Beyonce doesn't go anywhere without that fan, that diva fan. Because I'm like, look at her hair blowing. Like, you know, Beyonce loves that illusion of her hair blowing and stuff like that. But she looked great. She did look good. So a couple of people, a um, couple of other um, athletes gave their, you know, little speeches and stuff like that. It was it was nice. You know, she did speak about Vanessa. She spoke about her her late husband and her daughter. It was just very 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 emotional, very emotional. But Beyonce did an excellent job, though. I, I must say that's the first time. Um, Right since, uh, is that the first time that Beyonce's performed live since uh, Coach Beachella? You saw Halo, you had to turn it. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, a, it was, she did great though. She really, she looked great and she sounded, uh, she sounded great as well. And she performed the heck out of that song, both of them, but. After Halo, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm done. I am done. I couldn't watch it at all. It was too emotional. Yeah, I had to block it out of my for my own sanity. Yesterday was Kobe Day. Yes, rest in peace to Kobe and Gianna. Mm. Beyonce shut it down. But it was good to see her. Um, it definitely was. And it was good to see that she was very supportive of, uh, you know, showing her support and consoling Vanessa Bryant. She did not want pictures. Um circulating on the internet i don't know how true this is uh of her performance but i said to myself but the performance was not only on tv but other social media outlets were were showing the um showing the performance so i guess just for privacy i, I don't know i did see a picture of her consoling vanessa bryant and it was just uh she did an excellent job and I like the fact that she performed EXO because she said it was one of uh, Kobe's favorite songs. So I thought that that was sweet. Definitely thought that was sweet. His parents were there, but I don't think that they were, they didn't say anything. Um, Kobe's mom was there, but I don't think that she, or I don't think that she could, well, she probably didn't want to say anything, right? Like, you don't want to give a speech after your son and your granddaughter pass, right? That's, especially at the Staples Center in front of everybody probably just all too much i'm surprised vanessa got up and spoke honestly <sighs> very 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 heavy but she did a good job and michael jordan oh my god she was he was bawling oh like i said i was going back and forth back and forth watching so well they did a good job. Nobody, you know, screwed anything up or made a fool of themselves. So that's that was good to see. It's always hard to watch those memorials, you know, like especially when Whitney Houston, like Whitney Houston. Oh, God, that memorial that she had on TV. Michael Jackson's was emotional. But I guess they do. They do it for the fans, people who don't have the access to attend, you know, at the Staples Center because it was open to the public. So them broadcasting it on TV. I don't think it's a bad thing, but it's just very, very like you guys are saying, very, very emotional. All right, Kendrick Lamar, right? Uh, Kendrick Lamar and The Weeknd. Remember, they did that song, Pray For Me. It was um, a part of the um, Black Panther soundtrack. So I saw this this morning, and I'm like, they're getting sued. 
So some rock band is suing them for basically copying their their song. Uh, this was back in 2008 that uh, Black Panther came. 2018 that Black Panther came out, right? Wow, that's crazy. So it's a Brooklyn-based rock band. Uh, they says that the two hit makers swiped their secret sauce. <laughs> Uh, they have a record called Sunrise. I don't even know the name of the band. So they're suing Kendrick Lamar and and uh, The Weeknd. So there's legal documents. They reportedly specify that the band knew their sample was stolen due to the distinctive performance um, that was comprised of male voices singing in their highest registers with animated pulsing vibrato. Vir I can never say that name verbato so basically what they're saying is this brooklyn based band whose song this originally is allegedly they're saying that when kendrick lamar and the weekend recorded the song they altered the the sound they sped it up and then they put vocals over it and altered the sound to make it like distorted so that they wouldn't recognize it now i i heard it i heard the actual song and it's like uh okay I don't know. Maybe this is a reach. I think this is kind of a reach. The same thing happened with Candy and, um, darn, what's that guy named? Ed Sheeran, I think it is. I'm in love with the Shape of You, Shape of You, that song. Candy ended up getting songwriter credit on that song. I don't think she sued him. And she got a percentage of the uh, earnings from the song because she said that he sampled, uh, is it Scrubs, I think? So I don't know. I mean, if you're an artist, you know your work, but I, I didn't really hear I didn't really hear it. So I, I, I don't know. So this should be interesting. So they're wanting to sue the this this rock band. They're gonna sue um Kendrick Lamar and The Weeknd. They want all of the money that this song earned since 2018. All of it. Not half, all of it. I was like, wow. And they want to block further sales from the uh, from the song. They want all the records profits, and they're also suing for for damages. I'm like, wait, what? So this should be interesting. I'm gonna follow this because I want to see what the outcome of this is going to is going to be. Mm -mm -mm. That's interesting. I thought that that was that was weird. Like I said, I did hear the song, and I was just like, huh. I only listened to it once. So I was like, no, I don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. But like I said, every artist, they know their, their work. And if, I mean, if it's found out that they did sample the song without getting permission, I mean, the original composer or whatever of the song deserves their fair share. I mean, I don't know. How does this happen in this day and age? Like, you can't, you're supposed to get clearance for these songs. You sample these songs. The same thing happened with, what's his name? Um... Marvin Gaye's family and, um, dang, what's that guy's name? That was married to Paula Patton. What's his name? He sang Blurred Lines with, um, Pharrell. What's the white band name? Whatever his name is. Yeah, they had a big falling out back and forth to court. His name is on the tip of my tongue. I can't think of it. I wish them luck. But again, if it's found out that they that they sampled this song without clearance, then they're just going to have to pay. It is what it is. Speaking of song and music, guess who has new music out, y'all? Pretty Ricky. The group, Pretty Ricky. So they got a song out, and I did hear it, and I'm just saying to myself, oh, okay, this is going to be a banger for the summertime. It's called Body. Robin Thick, thank you. Thank you, LB. It happens a lot. People need to stop stealing. You know what I find interesting? How is it that, unless we don't know, how is it that Diddy didn't get sued left and right back in the day? Diddy sampled everybody's song. Like, everybody's song was a sample. But yeah, Pretty Ricky, yes, they have a song out called Body. You can listen to it on um on YouTube. I listened to it on YouTube, so it's it was trending. So I'm like, why the heck is Pretty Ricky trending? I thought, okay, aren't they going on the Millennium Tour? They're getting ready to start. I think 
Saturday, I think is the first um the first show of the Millennium Tour. But yeah, that song Body is it's cute. It's cute. It's a bop. It's a nice R and B bop. I like it. Uh very, very, very sexual, you know. So, you know, that's gonna be a banger for the summertime. I can totally see that. Did you guys hear it? Body. And Spectacular was the one that shared it on uh on Twitter. I did see that he shared it on Twitter. So I guess R and B I guess R and B is back. Cause if you think about it, we don't have any male or female R and B groups that are still like putting out music and working. I was just having this conversation like a week or so ago, like, Dag, what happened to like music? So Pretty Ricky is back, honey. Yeah, so the the Millennium Tour is scheduled to kick off in a couple of days. So they are going on tour. They're part of the tour as well. And that's smart. That is business-wise, that's definitely smart. Put out a song right before you are going on this huge tour. That's perfect. That's totally perfect. So it seems like they got their business in order. I'm here for it. You heard the song, Internet. You say you love that song. Diddy's a businessman. Diddy probably did things the right way so he wouldn't get sued. Yeah. His artists are left to the wolves, though. Now, that's a fact. It's true. And plus, he was making money. I mean, it's not like he was paying his artists top dollar or paying them what they deserve. So I'm sure he had the money to clear samples and stuff like that. Plus, he had, you know, good relationships in the business with people. So he probably was able to get away with a lot because he sampled everything. Oh, my. Everything was a sample. Everything. But he did a good job sampling them songs. He did a good job. So Angel Anginette's the only one that heard the song Body. It's 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 cute. I like it. I mean, I like Pretty Ricky for what they were. I mean, they weren't my favorite R and B group, but this is a good look for them, man. Like they they released this single. It's trending on Twitter, so you know people are going to be people are obviously listening uh, listening to it and talking about it. And they're about to go on tour. Smart. Definitely smart. So we'll see what those sales do. <laughs> it's a it's a nasty song. We know what Pretty Ricky gives. It's a nasty song. All right, y'all have okay. Have you guys been paying attention to? Okay, I don't want to say his name, and please don't put his name in the chat. Um, Oprah Winfrey's homeboy, his initials are HW. Have you guys been following his trial? Honey, it went down yesterday. I was keeping up with this, and late last night, I saw that he was on his way to Rikers. So he got sentenced, uh, not sentenced, he got convicted of two charges. Um, one, the first charge is first degree blank assault, and the second is uh, third degree uh, rhymes with vape. <laughs> now, the other three charges he was acquitted on, which I think is total garbage. The second charge that he got, the third degree rhymes with vape. That should be first degree because there's more than enough evidence for him to be charged. Honey, when I read, because this, this is taking place in New York. So I said, they're not sending him to Rikers. What, last night around 8 o'clock or so, I was checking, like, let me check up on this right before I went to bed. And when they said that they sentenced him, no, not sentenced him. I keep saying sentenced his bail was revoked, he was handcuffed, and the judge ordered him, his, his sentencing is March 11th, so he's basically going to be staying in Rikers from now until March 11th, until his sentencing. HW says, how could this happen in America? This is, he's in disbelief. 
Now, the reason why I think he's in disbelief is because he thought that his money was going to get him out of trouble, as it has done for so many years. But, baby, they said that he started feeling heart palpitations and he was short of breath. Honey, when I saw Rikers, I said, ooh, 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 ooh. He ain't going to make it. But he was trying to get out of going there because he had, you know, his his, uh, his spokesperson and his attorney said that he's having heart palpitations, yada, yada, yada. So he wanted to go to the hospital. Bellevue Hospital is a hospital in uh, in New York as well. So the judge, at first, the judge was saying, nah, there's an infirmary in Rikers and we have medical staff at Rikers. Get him out of here. <coughs> so he was trying, <laughs> he was trying to spend the night <laughs> At the hospital. But the judge said, no, no, no. There's an infirmary at Rikers, and that's where you can go. Do not do not collect $200. Do not pass go. Go straight to Rikers. I could I, I, I was I was in disbelief. I was in disbelief. And I'm gonna be honest with you, that's exactly where he belongs and not to mention he still has a case out in LA LA they're gonna go soft on him but I was I, I'm gonna be man I was a little bit ticked off granted something is better than nothing as far as this is concerned but that third degree rhymes with vape nah not third degree mm-mm 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 First degree blank assault, that carries a maximum of 20 years. I don't know what the minimum is. I'm going to find that out today. Because they can tell us the maximum to get us all hyped and excited. That doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to get the maximum, you know what I mean, uh, time. So, I don't know, man. I just don't want them to screw this up. Because him being acquitted of those other three charges was bogus. That was bogus. They have years and years and years of evidence against this creep. How did he get acquitted on those other three charges and then get third degree rhymes with vape? Third degree? No. That should be first degree. So although I was in here giggling about him going to Rikers, honey. Rikers Island, that is. Um... I'm going to hold off on my excitement or my cheer. Let me tell you something. I hope he can walk without that walker. Because if he has to stay, if he's staying in Rikers from now until March 11, that's not a lot of time. But in Rikers, that's an eternity. He going to need to walk fast. That walker ain't going to be able, that walker is not doing nothing but slowing him down. So he is going to need to be able to walk fast. So I hope he can walk without that walker. They might not put him in, in, you know, with the others. But still, they should. He should not be spared at all. I'm sorry. He, he definitely should. No, I'm not sorry. He, he shouldn't be spared. That's where he belongs. He ain't going to make it, honey. He might not make it. <laughs> Let me see what you guys are saying. <laughs> Bye, Ashy. <laughs> where is his scooter? <laughs> For real. <laughs> yeah, they ain't playing the Me Too movement. They, 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 they're sticking it to him. <laughs> Going straight to Rikers. When I saw Rikers, though, I said, "What?" Okay, Don. Okay, Don Diva, for real. And I'm not. You know what I'm saying? But him, him. Of all people? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. When I saw Rikers, the judge revoked his bail. They's like, no bail. No bail. No bail for you. Rightfully so. Not to get political. But... I said to myself, okay... 
this they could be they could be pulling the okie doke on us. Because what if the person who is occupying the White House right now decides to give this guy a pardon? What if he decides to pardon him? I just I just started thinking all over the place. Especially if HW, because H, it doesn't seem like his money is drying up, HW. Seems like he's still got money. And if he decides to donate to this person's campaign, person who's occupying the White House right now, if he decides to donate to his campaign, Cheeto Head may, may just pardon him. But then again, maybe not. He may not be able to in New York. He's not going to make it in right. No, he's not. I see you watch I'll be watching today, then watching your review. Love that show. No, that's okay. Yeah, I f look, it took me forever. I did, um, yeah, that's up. I put that up last night. I did episode one and two, just all in one, because I was so far behind, and I kept forgetting to, to upload it. But I love Shaz. I've been watching them since episode one, season one. I feel like they're my dysfunctional cousins, you know? And I didn't watch episode three, um, so I watched that today, and then plus I watched both Love and Hip Hops today, and get those, get all of those, uh, those out. His money's not gonna save him. Very well possible, but I don't know. I like I said, I have to do my homework on that. I didn't intend to talk about that today, but I, I just couldn't. I just had to get it off my chest. When I saw Rikers, I was like, mm. that's probably why his heart started pop. Listen. You tell me I'm going to Rikers, God forbid, I may pass out. They've been trying to get that prison shut down for a very long time. I advise them to hold off while HW is there. Just hold off a little while. You know, let him let him enjoy his stay there for a little while. But I don't know. I just I just thought about that. I said to myself, man, if that Cheeto head decides to, you know, pardon this guy, but I don't think he can. I don't I don't want to misspeak. I want to make sure I fact check myself before I even say that. Because um I think he would have to appeal this. Uh HW, he'd have to appeal this with the with the New York governor. So I don't know if if Cheeto head would be able to pardon him. Because trust me, if he's, listen, if he throws in, you know, money talks. And I understand, you know, your money can't save you all the time. But, child, for the love of money, people do some rotten, ridiculous things. And it's insane. But what, uh, I just can't get over that. I was like, wow. Hmm. But I'm not getting too excited yet. I want to see when he goes for sentencing on March 11th. <laughs> okay. Have that marked on my calendar. I'm curious to see what his sentencing is going to be. So we shall see. <laughs> Honey, he better. I hope he can walk without that walker. I really hope that he can walk without that walker because he is going to need. He can't be shuffling in Rikers, honey. <laughs> You can't be shuffling and stepping in Rikers. You got you got to move quick. You got to be light feet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you got to be, you know, you got to be what you call it, <laughs> Mr. Lightfoot. Mm -mm, got to move fast. So <laughs> I'm telling you, maybe getting old. You, let me ooh, ooh, let me tell you something. I wonder. That's what I said to my cousin last night. I said, "Uh huh, you ain't gonna put nothing on your on your boy's books." Uh huh. <laughs> you ain't gonna put nothing on your boy's books. That's crazy, right? Rikers, but like I said, I'm not. I'm not getting my hopes up. I'm definitely not getting my hopes up. So we shall see. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> <Y 'all> like, 
Yeah, I, I, but I wonder if they're gonna say anything about that. I wonder if um if uh, O and G are gonna say anything about that. Hopefully the guards will fall. <laughs> I'm so done. The jokes, the jokes. Trust me, I'm gonna be on. I'm gonna be on Twitter looking at what people have to say because I know people are excited about that. But like I said, I'm not getting too excited. I want to wait till sentencing. You know, hopefully they won't lowball. You know, lowball him, give him what he deserves. But for the judge to, well, it makes sense for the judge to to not give him bail because he's a flight risk. So he would he listen. He would hightail it out of there, and he would be in some island, some private island somewhere. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know if the judge like took his bail because he wants to stick it to him, or because the judge knows, look, this guy got money. He's a flight risk, you know. So because wasn't um Heathcliff Huxtable wasn't he on house arrest until his until his sentencing? I don't think they didn't hold him. No, they didn't. And that's because they knew he ain't had no more money. They didn't drain his pockets dry. Mm-hmm. Anyway. <laughs> Hopefully the guard will fall asleep. You guys are terrible. <laughs> what else is what else is going on in these in these streets, y'all? Hold on. Computer's trying to play tricks on me again. It's like when you don't need this stuff, it works fine. But when you need it, it starts acting up. Let me see. Oh man. Well, I'm gonna be staying tuned. I'm definitely gonna be keeping my eyeballs on this because I wanna see how this works out. Cause if he gets he gets he gets a light sentence with like probation, it's just like But he might not I don't know. I don't know if he's gonna make it. He probably gonna be in like a protective custody, like away from everybody else. Mm, mm, mm. See, they're talking about it now. He's rushed to the hospital moments after leaving court. Child. He looked like he's deteriorating, though. He deteriorated fast, right? <laughs> oh, God. Heart palpitations. Yeah, I bet. I'm pretty sure those victims had the same issues with heart palpitations when you was being a creep. I don't feel sorry for this guy, man. Please. I don't have no sympathy for him. He wasn't having no heart palpitations during the trial whatsoever. Right? Oh, Heathcliff Huxtable gave a statement? To Why is he giving so many statements? From <laughs> Remember, he said something about, he, he gave a statement thanking Snoop for what he said, for shot him out or whatever, when Snoop said what he said about Gail. Why, why is... <laughs> Yo, Dr. Huxtable got access to social media? I can't. What did he say? Let me see what he said. <laughs> oh, he says that it's a very sad day in the America judicial system. And he argues that H.W. was never going to have a fair, tr a fair trial because he's a wealthy and famous man. Mm-mm-mm. 
could end up serving. He could end up serving 25 years. I doubt he's going to get that much. I am a little disappointed in the verdict. I have to say. I really am. Because for that rhymes with vape, for it to be third degree, I... Uh -uh. I just I just don't understand. And, and I, I wish I was on a different platform. I can't see. That's why I'm saying certain words. Because trust me. A couple of my morning lives, <laughs> they done demonetized me, y'all. It's okay. It is what it is. I enjoy interacting with you guys, keeping you guys informed. Hey! One Dan Diva. Cash app? Is that the bell? What's my cash app or cash app? Bill said I got some backup now. <laughs> yeah, but he's a, he's I don't know. He's he's giving a lot of statements. What's going on with him? He got Twitter in there. He he seems to be very comfortable. They they say that the inmates are not bothering him. So I mean, he calls it his penthouse. So he must be doing all right in there. I don't think that they're in there messing with him. I think like you know the brothers are, are looking out for Heathcliff Huxtable. You feel me? So you know. Are you kidding me? You do so. Oh, check my cash app. Hold on. One time, Diva, don't get me. See, that's why I don't have the camera on. I might do a little dance for you. <laughs> I was just joking. <laughs> Let me see. I check. Oh! Thank you, my love. Thank you for the cash app, Miss Don Diva. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Your consistency is unmatched. Thank you. I really enjoy doing this. I do. That's why I stay consistent. I do. And I, like I said, especially the lives, because I, I, I appreciate it. Listen, nothing is, is little. Just taking the time out to even think of me. You know what I mean? And you didn't have to do it, but I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys being here. Like, I do. I like talking, and I like interacting with people, sharing information, getting different opinions, but I, I don't take anything for granted. I don't take your time for granted. I don't take your likes, your comments, your laughing emojis, you know, because it lets me know that, you know, as a stand-up comedian, I'm doing my job. But I appreciate it. Thank you so, 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 so much. Thank you. Yes, yeah, some of them, they do. That's why I, you know... Some of them are, are demonetized, not all of them, but that's why I take time what I'm saying, you know what I mean? So I'll be careful about what I put in the tags, and I, I be careful because they, when you go to review the videos, they sometimes they manually review it, which means I guess a human being listens to the entire video and then they determine, oh, nope, that's controversial, you know, that's not suitable for, for advertisers. So, but I still, it, it is what it is. It's, it is what it is. Thank you again so much. It, wait, they being good to him because he giving them all his jello pudding. <laughs> Y'all crazy. <laughs> yeah, Heathcliff is an OG. He definitely is an OG. Oh my gosh. But I don't I don't understand how this well, he got nothing but time, so I get it. He definitely has nothing but time. I thought it was all videos. You do so well with keeping things clean. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. I mean, that's I attribute that to me getting monetized so quickly because I got monetized only after like seven months of being on here. And that's why I'm so adamant about no profanity in the comments. No, you know, I don't use profanity because I don't want to give them a reason to do anything. Granted, there are some people, some other creators who use profanity and they get monetized sometimes they don't i don't know you know i don't see their behind the scenes so i don't know and yes it is possible for you to get monetized using certain profane words but i just don't want to take the risk at all so i think it's the subject matter so some some subjects they don't really want you to talk about but like i said it's it's like hit or miss i guess that's but i know for sure what i can't say um homeboy that saying i believe i can fly and step and all that i don't say his i don't put his name in the titles at all because i did one video before totally demise so i know it's different for everybody i guess so i just i just try to be careful watch what i say but again i i definitely appreciate it but yeah 
Dr. Huxtable, honey, he has nothing but time. He always giving statements like his, <laughs> I know his, his spokesperson is like, again, you, you got something to say again? Cause it's always his spokesperson giving this stuff to the media. <laughs> it's so funny though, but yeah, I'm definitely keeping my eye out for, um, for HW honey to see what he says. So. Oh God, they're outside. Uh, landscaping is outside again. They're here a lot. Yes, that's about it. What are y'all doing? Y'all at work? Listening on your headphones when you're supposed to be working? I said I was only gonna be on here for thirty minutes because I have to watch. Um, Oh girl, don't even get me started on ooh, on the juice. First of all, he he be doing too much. He be doing too much. And he's just real carefree out here, just on the people's Twitter. You know. Oh, you work from home? Word. Word. <laughs> that work from home life is beautiful, ain't it, Don Diva? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Mm-hmm. Thank you, Don Diva. Yes, thank you. All right, what time is it, y'all? It's after 10, where I am, 10, 18. I have to go watch Shaz. Put Shaz episode three up. I got to watch Love and Hip Hop Miami and New York. Put that up. And what comes on today? Nothing. There's a new show on ABC, y'all, called um, For Life. It comes on Tuesdays. 50 Cent is one of the executive producers on there. It's based on a true story. This guy who was wrongfully uh, convicted and sentenced to jail, um, he ended up getting his law degree while he was in jail, black guy, and then he came out of jail. He's still alive, the, the real character. Came out of jail, and he is basically fighting for people in the justice system who have been wrongfully convicted, et cetera, et cetera. Now, this will be episode three because I, I didn't know if I was going to like the show. So I recorded uh, two episodes. Episode three is coming on tonight. So I'm going to check it out. And if it's good, I'm going to bring it to your attention because, you know, why not? And 50 Cent is one of the executive producers. So it might be cool. And plus, it's based on a true story. Um, the guy, the real uh, gentleman, I don't remember his name. He's pleased with the show so far, he says. So I'm going to check it out and see. So that's the only thing that I watch that comes on tonight on Tuesday. Tuesday's a light day. And then tomorrow is sisters. So we'll see how that ends. <clears throat> yeah. <sighs> All right, Royal Family. I'm signing off. 48 minutes, not too bad. Okay, I didn't have any technical difficulties. So I am getting the hang of this streaming stuff. So I hope you guys have a positive and productive day. Oh, one Don Diva, don't try me is my is my that's my that's my right hand <laughs> right there. So don't try no don't try me is at work. She's in her office listening or whatever, and she just peeks in or whatever. But that's my that's my right hand. So I I told her look, I want you to be you know what I'm saying a mod. And she, she's like. What what's a mod? So I had to explain to her, but that's somebody that I know uh personally. So that's my right hand. So thank you. Uh don't try me. She listens, but she's she's not into all the typing, you know, every um you know, typing back and forth because she's in her I know she's in her office listening or what have you. So <laughs> I can't stand for this, but I will watch it. <laughs> yeah, he's you know what? I'm not mad at him. He is out here doing his thing. He is annoying, but you know, yes, that's fam right there. Yep, that's my right hand. So, yeah, she don't be like looking at the chat too tough, but I told her like, look, if you see something, you know what I mean, just just get it out of there. She's not gonna be doing all of that arguing back and forth and stuff like that. Mm -mm. Nope, just here to clean clean up when need be. <laughs> so. Thank you. Uh, don't try me. Like I said, that's my right hand. We go way back 
to the single digits. Like, that's my sister, bestie, homie, right hand, rider. So, yeah, like I said, she's at work. She in her office just listening to me act crazy. But I am signing off. Yeah, I'm going to check it out. Like I said, I didn't watch it yet, but episode three is coming on tonight, I know. So I'll be, I guess I'll binge watch the first three episodes and see if I like it. Um, I got her. Oh, you meant to say back. That's right. <laughs> so I'm signing off. Let me go watch this. Uh, What should I watch first? Shaz? I don't even know. Let me go watch Shaz. No, I'm going to watch Love and Hip Hop Miami first. Cause I like Love and Hip Hop Miami. They're doing they're they're a lot more entertaining than New York. So I'm gonna watch Love and Hip Hop Miami now and get ready to do that review. Get myself something to eat. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys have a blessed day. One Don Diva again. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Don't try me. Thank you. I know you listening, doing your paperwork and clickety clacking on the computer. So thank you. Um Make sure you guys look out for the videos. I'm going to be, like, going hard today. So I got, like, four four videos to upload? Three. Three more videos to upload. So I'll be working all day. So thank you for stopping by. If you're watching the replay and you enjoyed the commentary, please hit the like button. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, make sure your notifications are on. If you haven't subscribed, consider doing so. We'd love to have you join the Royal family. So I am signing off, Royal family. Until next time, peace.